Hi guys, uh, today I'm supposed to go out for my running, the Decathlon Trail, 10 km. But however, it was raining almost 3 to 4 hours. And I decide to do a, a water change for my betta fish. And uh, let's go! Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And uh, today, um, since I can't go out today uh, to do a running for the Decathlon Trail, it's raining very heavy, about three to four hours. So I decide uh, to do a, a sharing on the betta fish. So today I'm going to share about um, what I've been uh, done for so far for my betta fish, especially the baby uh, betta having grown. And I uh, can see at the back here is the only jar. And uh, some of the things that I jar uh, previous day, if you see here, it's need to be uh, here. I want to show you. Uh, here, I want to show you uh, what are my collections. And uh, here is you can see not all my fish have been jar. Only I selected uh, some. Those are really a big one. And you can see here is a multi uh, Nemo multi color. This one also, but this one is uh, the body is uh, the white and can see some of the transformation. Eh? I think they are very hang hungry. It's time to feed them later on. Let's go to have a look over here. And you can see all on the top of my container all have the uh, marking. Eh? And this one, slight difference, very dark color. You can see the tail, it's a star, star tail. And this one, slightly different. But uh, if you see properly on this particular fish, if you see uh, carefully, uh, this fish actually they only have one pelvic fins or vertil. If you want to share anything, just write down on the column below on the subscription. Okay, let's go. We're going to do the all the water change today. And also all this container, we're going to have a water change. Let's have a look and pour them out. There you are. All right, let's go and do the water change now. The process here is very uh, easy. What you need is uh, just need a net. The water that has been kept for three days. Container. Salt. And anti-chlorine. Okay, let's start. Okay, we will drain out all the water. Fish from inside. The tapang lid just throw away. Just wash. For me, uh, it's very uh, easy to change the water and very fast. They all clean already and the water I will put about one quarter another three quarter I'll fill up with the, the water that I've been kept for three days and now a little bit of salt
shake the anti chlorine before you pour inside. Just uh, two blocks. Now we catch the fish and put it inside. Okay, one done. Second one, same process. Oops, stuck here. But usually here, as you see, I don't use any scrub. And point. Yes. Step. Stop. Anti coffee. Fish in. Alright. We're done. The second one. Alright, we'll do the all all this. And uh, after that, we'll change the adult fish. Now all this one row have been cleaned as well. The back two. Okay, we continue. And this is the last two. It's the last two. And uh, we need to put the ketapang leaf here. Yeah? Last one. All right, so we are done. And now we are going to do a feeding. So stay tuned. All right, since I don't have uh, Artemia ready, so at least I have uh, the blood, uh, blood worms to feed all my fish. So what we need is very easy. You need to, uh, before you feed to the beta fish, the blood worms, you need to wash it out first. So I use this bar, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. We just uh, press and put in every single cube into the container, fill with water, make it all melted. Then later we will have to filter it, go through the running water before we feed to the our precious uh, beta fish. Very simple. Just wait for a while, let it all melt. Alright, all the blood worm have been melted. Nine. Now we are going to filter it. Only we will tap water. Go through thoroughly. Yeah. Okay, we are done. The result. Let's go. I use a chopstick. It doesn't. If you don't have any chopstick, you can use your hand. I can anything the material that you can give to your fish. They're very hungry. You need to fit all of this. Very hungry, you can see. Okay. 
Uh, why not I use my finger? More easy. For this one, there's a big group of fish inside. No worry. Whatever those uh, the the mouth can go in the food, the shoulder will whack. Okay, let's go. We go to feed uh, those uh, near there outside. Oh dear, this is the most scary part for all the breeders and this one is confirmed dropsy disease. To treat the dropsy disease is not easy but I try my best. What I use is uh, use salt. Half of the spoon, the water, but we don't need much, just a quarter. To treat this, uh, I use uh, medications from the K team and they call it K Medic. K Medic. So, this one, I'll put four drops one, two, Three, four. Tester. Set it down for a while, maybe five minutes. I also you forget, also add on a uh, three cap of uh, katapang extract. Now, hopefully, you will recover, but the percentage is very low. So hopefully, in this uh, one or two weeks, you monitor the fish and uh, see whether it recover. Just wish me luck. All right, this is the last change for my adult fish. Only to hold. It's very simple. 
All right, just nice. Down. So we need to try it. Let's go. Alright, we have done our water change for all adult fish and uh, baby beta fish. Now to put back the partitions. Hey guys, that's all for today's sharing and uh, we end also this video and hope you will learn something from uh, how to change the water. Stay safe, eat well, sleep well and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.